What's going on guys? I am CJ Bala and this is our first deck on Mono Black. This is a deck for Yargo. Yargo is one of my favorite commanders. He's just a beat stick. So he costs four and a black. That means that he is, you know, super easy to cast. All you have to do is have one black, which is pretty much your first land. And then getting to five. So the deck is a Voltron strategy. He's a 9-3 for 5. That is value in itself. So treat his effect as if his effect is when he's face up on the field. He's a 9-3 for 5. So what I love about him is that all you have to do is get him out, swing with him. You're going to try to take them down with commander damage. 1v1 commander, um, he excels with that. And he can win out of nowhere with some explosiveness. And we're going to go over some of the key things that make the deck really just, you know, flow together and work before we throw it out in there and show you what it can do. So we have Bubbly Muck Dark Ritual. Bubbly Muck and Dark Ritual are mostly what you're going to use to literally try to get him out as fast as possible. Bubbling Muck into the end turn, it's like high tide. Um, all your swamps tap for additional mana. Dark ritual, you're usually gonna use that or use it around turn two or any you know any stage that you're early in the in the game to get Yargo out. You're trying to get him out at turn one, turn two, um, not turn one, but turn two, turn three. You're trying to get him out as early as possible. So then when he's on the field, we have a couple enchantments. We have a few enchantments that give him intimidate whether he has intimidate um we're gonna have instants and sorceries that keep him alive like um undying evil basically if he was die we bring him back what we're doing is we're using graveyard recursion instead of paying for that five over and over and over again we're gonna try to bring him back out of the graveyard because sometimes commander commander um tax really gets in the way of a voltron strategy and we're on a black so we don't generate a ton of mana Unless we have to put a lot of effort in there, whether it's a creature and the creatures normally die, whether it's mana rocks and some people just get rid of mana rock or something like that. So we're trying to get him out as fast as possible, hit hard. So we're trying to, and once he's out here, trying to make him just so hard to get rid of, or we can get him back later on. So along with along with the intimidation package and the you know the removal package. We're also going to have some other creatures that deal damage similar to Yargle. So at this point, we're looking for value. We're trying to get something as close to Yargle as possible. So we have Rotting, was it Rotting, uh, is it Rotting Trastan? Rotting Regisaur? <laughs> Regisaur? Oh man, I just call him Mini Yargle. Like I never really called him by his real name because I call him Mini Yargle because he's a 7-6 for 3. You have to discard a card from your hand, but usually if you have any creatures in your hand, you're going to discard that or, you know, you're not going to be, you're not going to have too much of a hand regardless. So, because, you know, your mono black, you're going to be throwing down your lands per turn, throwing there all the enchantments on, and you're going to be very mindful before you throw them out because even though he has, he's similar to Yargle, discarding is something that you really don't want to, um, do whenever you have important cards so try to you know throw him out whenever you're barehanded because it happens at the beginning of your upkeep you can just have him out there you discard and then you draw your card so because the turn goes untap upkeep drop and that's what helps you out a ton so we have character guys we have character guys so if we can if we have to cast Jargo out later in the game you know we can tap a bunch of our mana um, he helps extort so he can keep some of our lives together. He keeps some of our life together. Um, one thing that I think uh, is very important for you to know about the deck is you're going to have to be as aggressive as possible when it comes to Yargle because you're going to try to smack someone in the face. If you're playing in the 4v4 or if you're playing this IRL in a bigger game, be mindful because the moment you play Yargle, you become a threat. Um, it happens a ton. I actually have this. I actually have this deck in real life. It is right here. I actually have the deck in real life, and I love it so much. And whenever you play Yargle, 
he is a threat on his own. He's a big boy. So try not to um try not to make yourself a threat by swinging unless it's absolutely they're absolutely open and necessary because if they swarm you with creatures or just outvalue you, you will not have a good time. So, how are we going to help how are we going to help bring people down like that? So, besides him being a 9 power, we're going to, you know, focus on other ways of dishing out that damage. So we have hatred. Hatred is good to put onto Yargle or any other creature that is swinging. Hatred, which you do in addition to casting the spell, you pay a certain amount of life, your creature gets target creature, not just yours, it's target creature gets plus X plus zero. And that's going to help you pretty much win the game almost every single time. If you're playing in a four player game and someone swings with their commander, you can buff their commander up to 20 one or higher if it's a if it gets right in you can pretty you can knock out that person with commander damage this has to be your commander if your health is high enough because we do have a little bit of life link health is high enough to throw out some extra damage or to you know just take a chunk of damage out of their life that will help a ton and if it's on yargle you pretty much can win the game if he's unblocked so how else are we gonna abuse Yargle for, you know, how else are we gonna abuse him just to get ourselves in? Another way we're gonna get, another way we're gonna abuse his power is with Disciple of Bolus. Disciple of Bolus, what you do is you dis, you um, sacrifice a creature, you gain life equal to the creature's power, and you draw X cards. So you draw X, you gain X life, draw X cards. He, you draw nine cards and gain nine life. That is value for a mono black deck if I've ever heard one for four mana. That's amazing. That is ridiculous. So what you want to do is if she's in the graveyard, you can, you know, res her so that you can get more cards in your hand. If you have Yargle, swing in, bring them back. Here, swing in, player, get rid of Yargle, bring Yargle back. Or, or swing in, bring her back sacrifice Yargle and then play Yargle again some way shape or form we also have heartless summoning heartless summoning is pretty much ramp it you know it minuses it gives you negative one negative one to all of your creatures but your creatures cost two less to cast this helps in the early game to get Yargle out this helps late game to you know <laughs> this helps late game to make everything else cheaper it helps a ton because you don't want to be paying that command attacks all the time. We can reduce them. We can reduce Yargle by one and then reap the benefits. So we have we have Demir House Guard. Demir House Guard is very underrated because you it's a tutor. You can what is it? You can um transmute him to get another four drop from your deck to your another four drop uh, four drop from your deck to your um hand. That is amazing. It is so important for you to get what you need. Whether you're trying to take this four drop and go get, whether you're trying to take the four drop and go get an equipment, or you're trying to take the four drop and go get, you know, Geist. Maybe you're playing a massive game and Geist can help you get more health. You want to use that to go search. It's this is a budget deck, and the way that this deck runs. It's very, very focused on just getting in, not only just fast as possible, but whenever you hit, you want to hit hard. So how do we hit harder? We have Colossal Hammer, late game, if you need to finish it off, we have, if you need to finish people off, or just get in with whatever creature, this basically makes any character in Eldrazi for eight, any creature in Eldrazi for eight. You have Infiltration Lens. The reason why I put Infiltration Lens in there, it's um, people don't really see it coming. If you put Infiltration Lens on your creature and you swing, you draw two cards if, if it's blocked by a creature. I believe it does stack. If you if they block with two creatures, you draw four cards. I'm pretty sure. But um, let me know if let me know if it doesn't. We'll probably find out in the games. So we have mana we have mana vault just to help him get out there as fast along with uh colossal hammer we have black who have black blade reforged 
for every land we control, it gives us plus one. It gives plus one to our character. It's plus three to add or creature. Plus three to add. Um, to add them, add it to our commander or equip it to our commander. We have cobalt wings that helps us fly over. We have uh, we have fleet, it was a fleet feather sandals helps us fly, gives them haste. Haste is important because we want to get them out fast. We have Lightning Greaves, of course, because we want him to move super fast. We have Inquisitor's Flail. Inquisitor's Flail, he takes double the damage, but he deals double the damage. If you have, whenever you give him Trample, via, and whenever you give him Trample, or give him um, unblockable, unblockable, like uh, with uh, with the, the Helm, uh, Prowler's Helm. Basically, if there's no walls, he's unblockable. So, not many people play walls unless you're running into a wall deck. Inquisitor's Flail pairs up with anything that gives them trample or unblockable because that extra damage leaks over and you can bleed your opponent out. To match with Black Blade Reforge, we have we have Lash. Oh man, I always call it Lash. Basically, um Azrith? Azrith? I oh my gosh. I have horrible at saying that exact that exact name. But basically, what it does, it's right there so you guys can see. It's Basically, for every swamp you control, it gets plus one, plus one, and it also has Frex and Mana. So you can pay two Frex and Mana, which is four life, to put on there. We have Nightmare Lash. Nightmare Lash, same thing for every swamp you control. Except for Nightmare Lash, you can pay three life. It's So these two can just equip as soon as you get them on the field. Equip, they both call, cost four. And Hammer of Nazan. Hammer of Nazan gives him indestructibility. You can stay up on the field for a lot longer and just not die. Then we have a uh, then we have a uh, Stratosite, same thing except for you in print. And then for every land, for every land it gets plus one, it helps a ton. For every land of the same name. Also, we have Sword of the Animist. Gives him plus one, but whenever he attacks, he you get a land from your deck to your hand. It's a little bit of ramp. It's two to play, and I believe it's two to equip. So let's, let me let's look at it again. It's two to play and two to equip. Yep, two to equip. So basically, whenever you play your commander, I mean, whenever you have your commander out, you play this, you attach it to it, you swing, you thin out your deck by one, you have one extra mana. It's a ramp, it helps a ton because it helps, you know, kind of smooth out our draws, not too much, but just a little bit. So our other package is pretty much ramp. Just to make everything else, you know, a lot smoother, get them out quite consistency, consistently, and then we have a couple things for a little bit of um, for a little bit of card draw. The deck is awesome. I love it. Let's go ahead and take it out for a spin. All right, let's go. We won the roll. Would you like to go first? Yes, I would love to go first. Uh, we don't really have too much. We have a little bit. Of, we have a little bit of mana. Uh, let me move myself just a little bit. Let me move myself. All right, cool things. That, that should be nice. All right, so. Move this a little bit over. There you go. See some more. All right, cool beans. Um, we don't have that much to work with. Uh, we're gonna keep a. We're not gonna keep it. We're gonna. We're gonna mully. Uh, soul ring. I like soul ring. Dark ritual. All right, keep. Uh, put a card on the bottom of the library. Put a card on the bottom of the library. Do we want? Uh, we we can't really play him right now. All right, done. Let's go. So we have the we have Scythe, which is imprint. We can't really play Scythe right now. 
We have we have Shrink Maw. Uh, we can play Shrink Maw for cheaper, just to get just to be able to kill something. We have Soul Ring. Let's go ahead and play a Swamp. Soul Ring, man, this is the cheapest Soul Ring that was uh, that I could find for today. I guess a lot of people are building commanders, and uh, I mean, at least I got the matter. For once in my life, I got a masterpiece. Oh man, so we're gonna let that go. So, by the way, guys, the reason why I made this deck, okay, so I've been playing Magic for a long time. Bobble, nice, love it. Bobble, so good card. The reason why I made this deck, oh my god, another swamp. Yes, uh, one. So that's three. Oh my god. So, three with our Dark Ritual. Four, five. Oh my god, let's get it. Back ritual. Yeah, go ahead and play our. Where's our commander? Where's our. Where's our. Where's our Yargo? Where's our Yargo? Where's, where's, where's my commander? Uh. Commander, commander. So. I cannot find my commander. You can tell this. I'm like super new. Where's my commander? Where is my commander? Where is he? There he is. Oh no, that's a, that's a great one. Commander? There you go. Yargle. Oh my god. The Yarmongle, uh, the Yar monster has is being cast. Yeah, we can let that go. Oh yeah, we'll let that mana float right there. The Yar monster, man. I love Yargle. Dude, the damage that he has. I just don't want him to be burned out. Oh my god, will he live? Can he live? Can he live? Yo, buddy, Yar, my guy, my dude. All right, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna, um, uh, one, two, three, let's go. We we'll have to imprint. Let me have it, let me have it, let me have it. There we go. Uh, we're gonna play a land. Uh, to equip, you really can't equip it, but Alright, cool. Move the combat. Dude, I'm so happy. My first commander! Oh my god, my first commander to be played on. I built a commander deck, but I let a friend make a little friend. Make. No! Did we forget to attack? We forgot to attack. That's okay. Oh man, I'm still quite dude with it. It's alright, because he's playing mono red, I believe. I believe he's playing mono red, so we'll let him. We'll let him live. Cause I mean, if we smack him for nine now, he'd be dead next turn. So I want to see what he, what he has. Let's go. Any smart move? Uh, search a library, gamble. Nice. So, like I was saying, I made this deck for my girl, and it was so uh it was it's it was to be so simple so there's a there's a channel that made command quarters and whenever they made command quarter it was just all about it was the command quarter it was just about you know stacking equipment on it and things like that and i lo i loved it i was like you know what let's add a little bit of um i always wanted to play it let's add a little bit more to it let's um you know I I really wanted to 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 have a deck for her to play and have it super simple. So I decided not to put any complicated combos into here. So we're gonna play. Uh we're gonna equip it to Yargle. One, two, three. With it to Yargle. Cause he'd be dead already. And I, I really wanted him to I really want to be able to play a little bit more. So if I swing in. Oh, go ahead, get in there, get in there, boy. Uh, 
Uh, what are you doing? He's looking for looking for an answer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yar monster. Nice. That's 13 damage. What do you what do you what do you do with that? What do you do with that? That's 13 commander damage. If we hit him earlier, he'd be GG's. Oh crap. I mean now he just has to oh well to, to deal seven damage to the commander. When I mount in this tab is okay cool. I've never seen that before. Not with a might. Oh man, does it give does it give red creatures haste? No? No, it doesn't. Oh, I think we got it. Uh we're gonna tap. Ooh, nice. Oh man. He gave in. Okay, cool. That was a good game. That was a good game. I liked it. It was good. It was a nice little, it was a nice little game. Yargle takes down the first victory. Oh man. By the way, um, Rogue's Passage is a really, really dope land. It's a super dope land. I think Rogue's Passage is it can be underrated. It like it it almost never becomes useless. Because whenever you have it, you really want to swing in with Yargle. It only costs four late game. It's great. I have no, I have like nothing against, nothing against that card. It's so good. We have nothing except for, we, we can keep. We have, we have soul ring. We have soul ring and that'll keep us from, from going dry handed. All right, cool. Nice. Uh, one. Uh, yeah, we can keep that right there. That's good. We have bubbling muck, so we tap one. So two, three, four. Ooh, man, mana vault. We can have the big guns, man. Nice. All right. Uh. Damn, it's, I don't know, man. I don't know what to do exactly here. We would probably have to, we'd probably have to wait for, for Yargo to come out. Um, hmm, this is so weird. We'd probably have to wait for Yargo to come out. There we go. So we're gonna play. We're gonna play Hammer of Nazan. I know it's indestructible. It's it's indestructible, and the the creature gets indestructible. I think the creature gets indestructible. I think you can destroy it. Yeah, you can destroy it. Ooh, -hoo. ooh, -hoo. oh man, good stuff. Hmm. All right, so this is one of the this is one of the, the greatest things about this about uh, Val. Val, the creature cannot destroy the creature cannot attack you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give Val to this guy. So it gets plus two and has intimidate, but it cannot attack me. Which means it just can't attack. Period. So it kind of locks down. It's a little bit of safety. It helps a ton. It helps a ton. Oh man, he's gonna take that. He's probably gonna take damage. No, is he gonna take it? It was like one damage. I think that was his big spell. I think that was the thing he. That was the combo he was relying on. He's gonna search for some land. Cool beans. Oh no. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, please. Oh man, we all get it? Oh dude. Dude, you're awesome. You're awesome. 
Noble Ninja, dude. You're awesome. Let's go. And then I get to draw an extra card. Mono Black, I get to draw an extra card. Oh, I get to play an extra land. Cool beans. So we're going to one, two, three, four. All right, we're going to play Yargle. We're just going to go ahead and play Yargle. We could have done more, but um, I don't know. It would be it would be pretty um, it'd be pretty harsh if we play more. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pass it. We're gonna pass it. Now, if we didn't, if we played Yargle and just if we bubble and mucked, just got a bunch of mana, like oh man, I think it would just be so um. So so mean. So we're gonna sag back. We're gonna stand back a little bit. I don't want him to to quit so so fast. All right. So he's gonna draw his two cards, play his extra land because I'm sure he drew a land. Yeah, strip mine. But his strip mine. He's gonna strip mine my swamp. The the, the value. He's probably gonna strip mine. Hold his strip mine for uh, <laughs> for rogues passage or something like that. Anything that's gonna give me extra value. Okay. I see what you're getting at. Oh, you're not slick. Oh man, but he, he has a pretty he has a pretty full hand though. He has a full grip. Tapping out. Nice, nice. If I get through, if I can get through, maybe maybe we'll go hard right here. We'll draw an extra. It's probably black blade. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bubble and muck. We're gonna bubble and muck. Uh, we don't have trample. We don't have trample. Uh, two, four, six. Mm. We're equipped. Uh, it costs four. Two, three, four. Give that to give the hammer to him. So anything that we play, pretty much just auto equips. So we're gonna play. Yeah, black blade is just for lands in general. I think we're gonna try to get. I think we're just gonna try to get in. I think we're just gonna try to get in. Two. I wonder if we put. I wonder if we throw infect on him. Will it, is 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 that gonna be a little bit too mean? Okay. Effect. Yep. Uses ability. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, we're gonna throw. We're gonna throw infect on there. So we're not just swinging for damage. We're just gonna swing for. We're already indestructible. We already have so much uh, power on the board. You have to sweep the field if we're gonna. You have to sweep the field. So we're gonna we're gonna attack. We're gonna attack. Him getting rid of our hand isn't gonna hurt us really. He's gonna throw him in front of him. There you go. That's gonna hurt. So we're in a solid position. I think we're doing like. Very very well when it comes to just not uh not letting him destroy Yargle. He's gonna have to chaos warp Yargle. Yargle doesn't have hexproof. Black is very very bad at getting hexproof. Uh, he's not gonna attack with his three. Main phase two. Oh, we don't have trample. We have double strike. We don't trample. Oh man, but the extra. Oh oh my gosh. We got flying. We got flying. We got flying. Hold on. Give him give him the Nikes. Give him the Air Jordans. Oh man. Yo. Man. We gave him the Jays. Yo. <laughs> 
<laughs> so guys, thanks so much for jamming out with me. Much love, man. I enjoyed playing Yargle. <laughs> Noble Ninja. Thanks so much for playing with me, my man. Much love. Um, I'm going to record some more games. Let me just get this one out to you guys so you guys can jam out with it. Much love. Much love, you guys. Thanks so much for jamming out. Welcome to the channel. Yargle!